Hi guys. Hi everyone. Am I being recorded? Yup, it looks like that. Okay, good. Uh, today I'm experimenting with a new format of my free week language lessons. Uh, and this is the text as you've had before, but also a video, which is something new. So I'd really love to know how you feel about it and what you think about it. Uh, do let me know uh, in your comments, in your replies. Uh, the video is only more or less in line with the text. I'm not reading word by word. I'm just improving rising a little bit. Uh, well, anyway, uh, today's lesson is about health problems because of my recent unfortunate experiences in that area, unfortunately. So for the past two months, I've been feeling a burning sensation in my neck. It's like burning, tingling, itching, something like that. And I delayed taking action for a long time, thinking it's probably nothing. Uh, uh, because uh, those of you who know me, you know that I'm a bit of a hypochondriac and I do tend to overreact to very minor issues. Uh, and then the doctors make fun of me and that's not fun being made fun of by the doctor. So, you know, so I thought it's nothing. Uh, either that or trachea cancer, uh, which is also a bad thing. You see, I told you I am a hypochondriac. Uh, so I didn't want to hear either from the doctor, so I avoided going there. But it just didn't go uh, away on its own. I tried taking some uh, lozenges for sore throat, but they didn't help. Uh, then my dietitian uh, suggested that could be heartburn. So I took some meds for that and alas to no avail. Yeah, that wasn't sore throat, that wasn't heartburn apparently. So I signed up for an appointment uh, at the doctor's, at the GP, and I waited dutifully for a month that's right. For an appointment at the GP, uh, you have to wait for a month at our clinic. That's Povstańcy w Śląskich 19 in Jelonki. So I think they hope that if you don't die and during, while waiting, then you're fit enough to come to the appointment. I really don't know what the philosophy is behind that. That's really ridiculous. But I survived the month uh, and then I braced myself and went to the doctor uh, and the doctor started by taking my temperature and he showed me the thermometer and it turned out that I had 38 degrees and I almost laughed in his face and I said oh my god that's impossible I'm feeling fine I felt like that for the past few months and he said well you might have had the fever for the past two months and again, I felt like laughing in his face. Uh, but you know, still I wanted some prescription and not to be kicked out of the surgery. So I decided, you know, to hold my horses. Uh, so yeah, so that's my doctor's theory that I've had a fever uh, for the past two months. Uh, I got some antibiotics, some anti-inflammatory meds. Uh, I'll show you those, yeah? If you wait a second, I'll bring them to you. I'm coming in a second. Yeah, I'm back. I can prove it to you. Okay, what I have. Uh, okay, I'm a bit confused in that. These are my antibiotics. The down. Okay. Uh, this is the anti-inflammatory medicine, uh, which is supposed to help with my nerve in my leg also, but it kind of isn't working. Uh, this is a... These are some probiotics, which I'm supposed to take together with the antibiotics. They really don't make sense together, but whatever. And this is a delightful rinse for gurgling my throat, like ha. Ah. Yeah, so that's for uh, gargling. Yeah, gargling, gargling. Oh my god, yeah, for gargling. Uh, it's disgusting. <laughs> So I got these meds, it was last Thursday, so it's been quite a few days, almost a week, yeah, it's been almost a week, and nothing is helping, yeah, so I still have uh, a pain, it's not really a pain, a yeah? burning sensation in my throat, I still think I'm about to die with trachea cancer, 
or something like that. Uh, but now I think because of the antibiotics, I started feeling like weak and cold. And today I spent two hours in bed instead of going to my fitness classes. Yeah. So something is not working out. So anyway, these are my recent health adventures, uh, which inspired this lesson for you. You'll find a bunch of health vocabulary uh, with Polish translations in the accompanying text. Uh, but I'm, I've been also uh, thinking philosophically, yeah, my, because the doctor's idea is that uh, I've had a fever for the past two months and I didn't even know about that. I'm not convinced about the truth, the, the validity of that theory. But maybe, guys, I was thinking about your English, yeah? Maybe your English has been quite bad for some time and you don't even know that, yeah? So maybe you don't know your English is dying and it needs the kiss of life, yeah? You know, the kiss of life is like, yeah, the mouth the mouth resuscitation. So guys, if your English wants a kiss of life from me and I'm quite a good kisser, then do come to my free challenge uh, next week. That's happening between Monday and Wednesday, starting December the 2nd until December the 4th. I'm hosting a free English challenge in my Facebook group uh, and this will be English for Work from sitcoms. Uh, the required level of English is intermediate or above. Unfortunately, my focus group is not beginners, so if your English is at least intermediate, do come, come, come. So there will be lots of vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation and fun from a sitcom, everything in the business context. Uh, so you find the link for sign up above or below or somewhere around uh, and I do hope to see you there. Uh, of course, if I don't die before that, yeah, and with all the meds and <laughs> my uh, health issues, you never know. So guys, I hope to see you there. Uh, do let me know what you think about having your free weekly lesson of English in both written and recorded form. Yeah, thank you.